with advanced micro devices, we have SAMHSA and SF3D from Team Finland. We have Pete Hardman in blue, and we have Maki. All of these people are here to help us take Dragon technology to new limits. As you know, Phenom 2 has exhibited no cold bug. We've been running on liquid nitrogen through uh, all of our early testing, and as a result, we've seen really great overclocking results. The challenge has been getting the conditions right to run Phenom 2 at temperatures below negative 190 centigrade. So what we've done is we have brought 500 liters of liquid helium to the desert and to the extreme systems event. What do you get when you take a, a dye and cool it down below 200 Celsius? The next step is to chill the processor down to as far as nitrogen can take you, and then we switched over to helium. They let the liquid nitrogen burn off, they open up the door with a liquid helium, They'll dip it in, and then they'll start blasting the, the Dragon Pot with liquid helium. Liquid helium, theoretically, would get us down to about 3 Kelvin, close to negative 270 degrees centigrade. We'll look for a stable operation, and then they'll run 3D Mark 05, and we'll see how far we can go. Yeah, so we're at 6.3 gigs. Um, we're running HD ref clock at 286. Uh, hyper transport link is, is at 2.28 gigs and we're about to run another loop of 3D Mark 5. The memory controller, the NB, um, is running at over 4 gigahertz here. The default frequency for this is uh, only 1.8, so pretty significant overclock here. Um, and system memory is running at 572 uh, megahertz. And we're maintaining a nice negative 220 degrees Celsius. Running the final game just right now. 6.3 gigs, and we're almost done with 3D Mark 5. And there we go. Let's see what the score is. Oh, it's awfully close to 45,000. 44,988. We will uh, try to reach the highest CPU Z screen right now. Run it, master spin. Yeah, we're going for 6.43. CPU Z running at 6.435 gigahertz. All right, so we are going to try uh, six and a half gigahertz CPU Z screen here. Let's see what happens. Temperature is at negative 232, and the system is running at 6.5 gigahertz right now. This is the highest we've ever reached. 6.5 gigahertz. So we will shut down the system at this point. So next step is uh, we will run some more 3D Mark 5 with another hard drive, hopefully with higher performance. Uh, and we're trying to get to the uh, 3D Mark record of uh, 45,000 something. It's getting pretty cold here. Negative 242. And we just cold booted the system at this temperature. It's pretty crazy. A big tank, 250 liters of liquid helium gives us only around uh, 90 minutes of benchmarking. So we don't have room for mistakes. It's an experiment to see what, what happens. Does the CPU scale? Can it actually even run with this type of cooling? The CPUs just haven't been able to run at such cold, extreme temperatures. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're almost done with the second game test here. Um, 6.27 gigahertz frequency. We're hoping for uh, 45,000 this time around. Um, the previous run was just a couple points below 45. All right, fun, uh, running the uh, the final test game, this number three, 6.3 gigs. Uh, and on this run, we uh, we got very good frame rates on the first two tests. So, assuming we finish this, this should be uh, the highest score we have reached here so far. A couple more seconds to go. And we should have a pretty impressive score on the screen. Assuming we finish this run, we, uh, we should be able to, to reach higher score. In other words, we are going to break the record. All right, let's see what the score is. 45,474, the highest uh, score we've ever reached here. Did you guys just break a world record? Simon, I think we just did that. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. Six
6.3 gigahertz on the CPU core with air-cooled graphic cards, uh, Northbridge at 3.92, memory running at 560 megahertz, and we, uh, we scored 3 Mark 05 score of 45,473. Uh, and you folks can confirm for me that this is the highest score that you've ever seen. This is the highest score we've ever, ever seen. That's right. It is. We maintain below negative 200 most of the time. What we've been trying to do is see scaling with liquid helium. That's been the experiment is, can we get more frequency when we use liquid helium? And as you can see, we were able to break the record tonight using liquid helium, trying to push the limits and inspire the community to do what it's always done, which is to push overclocking further by embracing new methods and techniques for getting the most performance out of processors.